Our topic for today is understanding Unix file system and its storage and various uh, file traversal commands. Now if I ask you to define file system, anyone has any idea on what is a file system? Explain me from your understanding on Windows. Most probably we'll see on Windows as like drives, right? C drive and D drive. The important thing there is we keep all important system related files in a C drive. And uh, if, I, if I have a movie, so I'll, I'll, I'll do a separate partition. For example, like a 100 gig or a 200 gig. And I store all the files in like M drive. If I have a songs, I might have created uh, another partition as uh, S drive. So the objective is depending upon the type of data we are storing, we go for partitions down there. That is a similar concept in Unix as well. And we call that concept as a file system. A file system is as equivalent to me as a drive in Windows. A file system is a logical collection of files on a partition or a disk. You can view file systems using DF or BDF commands. This BDF is on HP Unix and DF works on the rest of the platforms. Now, let me see if my Linux got started. It started. If I go here and if I open this, if I log in as a normal user, And the command to see list of file systems available is df command. So there is another way called df-h show me in a human readable format. It says that this is one drive and this is another drive and this is another file system. These have been mounted. This is actual storage. This has been mounted in a human readable format so that I can understand. And also it's displaying the size of this file system is like 18 gig. 7 gig has been used so far and available is 9.6 gig and use is 43. Please note that monitoring of these file systems is a big thing. These are the places where we store data. Whether it is a database or a middleware servers or an application servers. You store data in these file systems only. So if it reaches like 80%, we configure at workplace that uh, send me an uh, uh, green alert, 90 and amber and uh, 95 and a red. The monitoring of this is a big thing. Now how Unix stores data inside these files, file systems is in a hierarchical form. It's like a tree format. If I quickly go there and show you that, this is how the data gets stored. Again, the storage here is no different from, from Windows. In Windows, what you have, you have a C drive. Inside a C drive, you have program files. Inside program files, you have XYZ directory. Inside XYZ directory, you can create your own directory. That is the same thing. The starting of all the directory series forward slash. This we in short call as a root directory. Forward slash is a root directory. To what I can compare this root directory in Windows is my computer. When you click on a my computer, you see C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, M drive, S drive, like that, right? This can be compared in Windows as a my computer. So inside this my computer, or inside this root in a Unix file system, you have various directories. These directories again have a subdirectories. What is the importance of learning these directories is in Windows, we'll just double click and we enter inside a directory, right? We call that directory as a folder. So here is a here is a comparison. If I if, if I put it in a notepad. My computer. 
you can say it as a forward slash c drive or a d drive or f drive these can be compared as file systems okay and uh, In, in Windows we call folder here we call directory right in, in Windows so uh, we have like notepad wordpad textpad all these pads right but here you have only one vi editor file simple there is nothing of a sort here notepad wordpad textpad or xls there is no such differentiation all you have is single file editor okay it's up to you whichever extensions you want to give it just like a plain text file as simple as that plain text formatted file and another thing is in windows we have like directory notepad sorry in windows we have like folder notepad wordpad various other stuff right here in unix you call everything as a file simple file unix treats a directory as a file a for a a simple file as a file a zero byte size file as a file everything unix treats as a file now the important thing i wanted to highlight here is how do we move between these folders or directories or files in Unix. If you look at storage is an important thing to understand before we actually go and learn how we traverse between these directories. If I go back here, when I say df hyphen h, this is my root file system, a super file system like my computer and Windows. I say here cd forward slash so that I'll go inside this root file system. Now, in Windows, what happens is when you double click it, you see everything down there. But here, this is a command based system, right? Command based administration, uh, command based uh, uh, work completely. So, how do I see files inside this root? I have to go for a command called ls. ls is a command that will list the files inside a directory. I repeat, ls is a command that lists the files inside a directory. So now I have a bin, boot, dev, I have a root directory inside main root, yes bin, temp. But does this make any any sense to me that whether this is a directory or a file this is just a directory or a normal simple file so that's where i can go ahead and apply some options options such as hyphen l we looked at in our previous class right in unix you can specify commands as a command name followed by options followed by file names here i'm just specifying one option ls minus l is like details tab in uh, windows this gives me like close to nine to uh, nine or ten different columns the first this specifies what kind of a permissions people have on this file you know file i can use it as an interchangeable thing for a directory or a simple file and number of symbolic links to this file and who is a warner to which group that guy belongs to what is the size of this file when it got created or lost updated name okay we have to understand all these columns the first thing here if i look at the first column here first column says d In a Unix file system, I have three types of files. One is ordinary file, directory file, and special file. 
ordinary file is nothing but like a notepad or wordpad whatever you call it in windows and the directory is like a folder which will help me to hold list of ordinary files or directories itself and the special files are like device drivers or raw devices symbolic links they are there for a special purpose one example i can compare with windows is a shortcut shortcut is a special file in unix right how do you create a shortcut in windows if you want to place something on a on a desktop you just simply say right click and create a shortcut on desktop right shortcut is called here as a link so that's a special file now how can i see just by looking at a file how can i say just by looking at a file that whether it is ordinary file or a directory file or a special file is by the first character if first character says d it's a directory that means all these are directories you see my point all these are directories if i go inside the bin how can i go inside a bin it's not just by double clicking here right i need to type a command the command here is cd change directory i want to change directory from the current directory to this guy here cd bin if i press enter again when i do ls minus l there are bunch of output that came ls minus l so if you look at here the first character is different like if it is just like a hyphen that means it's a normal file if it is a l that means it's a symbolic link that means it's a shortcut to some other file if we have a d there anyway it's a directory the first character specifies what kind of a file i am working on what kind of a file i am working on if it is just an iphone that means it's an ordinary file if i see here d that means it's a directory if i see other than hyphen and other than d any other character like l l for symbolic links if i go to dev directory i'll show you how to go there you'll see different extensions here anything other than hyphen or d it's a special file below don't worry about it we don't have to worry you know, so much about these special files that's the headache of like storage guy or an admin guy now the important point to understand here is how do we traverse which path i came i i went to i was at like forward slash right then i said cd bin that means i am inside the bin folder or a bin directory when i say ls i can see all the files inside it ls minus l will will show me that long listing agree now there is a command called pwd pwd is a print working directory it tells me that which directory i am in which directory i am in now if i want to go back to my previous directory right see i here i am when i say pwd it is showing me the output as bin if i want to go to the root again i have two options i can say cd forward slash or cd dot dot so since i am inside the bin folder if i want to go back go to its parent i simply say cd dot dot i can simply say cd dot dot then i'll come one directory above you getting this point if i again go to bin i can simply say cd forward slash cd forward slash cd is a command which will help me to change directory and it accepts to which directory you want to change 
cd dot dot will try to move to one directory above if i am trying to do cd dot dot here it won't go anywhere because that's the root right you know above the my computer it cannot go anywhere with respect to the storage that's the starting place similarly here forward slash is a starting place we cannot go anything further any questions so far Anandhe Ma Kaushik Shruti. No sir. If I do a quick recap of what I have covered. File system versus drive. Right. Three types of files. LS command. LS hyphen L command. CD command. PWD. Let me go back to the presentation. Like PWD, print working directory, LS, list the files, CD will help me to traverse from one place to another place. There is another command called make dir. How do we create, how do you create a new folder in Windows? Any one of you? How do you create a new folder in Windows? It's as simple as yeah. It's as simple as yeah. Right click and create a new folder. You know, click a new folder. But here in Win, here in Unix or Linux, it has to happen through again by commands. For example, the command here is mkdir make directory. What is the equivalent for directory? Folder, right? So to create a folder here or to create a directory, the command is mkdir. Now, if I do ls, I have one file system here called temp. Temp is to hold some temporary data. As the name says, each and every operating system has this temporary directory inside root. Now if I want to create a directory here, if I want to create a directory here for example with name Anand, the command is mkdir Anand. If I do ls, I see another directory here. 